Throughout the ages, Pompeii has remained a fascinating glimpse into the forgotten realm of ancient Rome. With every excavation, a new fragment of the puzzle is revealed, drawing us nearer to comprehending the everyday existence of its inhabitants. We have been astounded by an array of findings, from frescoes portraying mythical clashes to the pizza fresco showcasing a remarkably familiar feast, and even the haunting remnants of individuals seeking shelter. Below the stunning artwork, there is a secret tale waiting to be discovered, the tale of Pompeii's construction. New findings in Regio 9, specifically Insula X, have revealed a wealth of knowledge not just about the city's tragic end, but also about the daily lives of its people and the impressive engineering skills of the Romans. Pompeii was organized into nine regions, each providing a unique insight into the city's social and economic makeup. Today, we will be exploring Regio 9, a district located in the center of Pompeii. This area, surrounded by the lively Via Donola to the north, the Via Stabiana to the west, and the Via del Abundanza to the south, continues to reveal its hidden treasures through ongoing excavations. The tale dates back for centuries, showcasing the city's growth over time. During Pompeii's peak in the first century AD, Regio 9 saw a major change. The luxurious homes disappeared, making way for bustling workshops. Skilled craftsmen could be found laboring away in specialized workshops. Philanikai, the specialized laundries, were also scattered throughout the district, providing large basins and workbenches to meet the needs of the residents of Pompeii. Unfortunately, everything changed when Mount Vesuvius erupted in 8079, burying the city of Pompeii and nearby towns. Since its excavation, Regio 9 has been a valuable source of archaeological discoveries. In 1888, the first excavations took place in the area. However, they were soon halted, revealing only fragments of magnificent atrium houses and giving us a glimpse into the era when the Samnites, an Oscan-speaking Italic people, ruled over Pompeii. Now, in the 21st century, Regio 9 still holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. In the area, there have been some truly fascinating findings lately. One of them is the renowned pizza fresco, which showcases a flatbread with toppings that some people think might be an ancient precursor to pizza. Additionally, there was a recent heartbreaking discovery that revealed the remains of three individuals, forever preserved in time by the volcanic eruption that engulfed them. The house's atrium, along with a nearby oven, showcased frescoes portraying stories from Roman and Greek mythology, giving us a peek into the artistic tastes of Pompeii's inhabitants. Moreover, remnants of burnt furniture suggested that a fire had devastated the building prior to the catastrophic eruption. Regio 9's tale continues beyond that point. The real treasures are not found in the completed buildings, but in the ongoing projects. A construction site that has been remarkably preserved by the catastrophic event that led to Pompeii's demise. Recent digs, with a special emphasis on Insula X, have revealed a wealth of knowledge not only about everyday life but also about the impressive skills of Roman engineering. This is the point in our adventure where things get really interesting. We're moving away from the ordinary lives of the people of Pompeii and delving into the mysteries surrounding the city's lasting buildings. It's like stumbling upon a home renovation in progress, with tools left behind and materials neatly stacked, waiting to be used. Experts in archaeology think that this was actually a renovation project, possibly centered around a house next to a bakery where slaves and donkeys were probably employed to operate a mill. The house's atrium had a section that was exposed to the sky, with construction materials stacked close to a staircase that led to the tablinum, the reception area. What caught the eye was a mythological painting of Achilles on Cyrus, showcasing the renowned Greek hero. Roman numerals were scribbled in charcoal on the walls nearby, probably left by the workers, adding an extra touch of intricacy to the setting. Scholars have indicated that construction was at its peak on this site until the tragic eruption in 79 AD signs point to a busy atmosphere with workers hard at work. Various items found include jars, which may have been used for mixing mortar, lead weights for lifting heavy stones, and iron hose for mortar mixing. All these items remain untouched, giving the impression that they were left behind during the volcanic eruption. These ordinary objects provide a clear depiction of the hard work that was involved. It is fascinating to note that specialists speculate that the lead weights could have been utilized in a plumb bob setup, a clever and straightforward tool for ensuring the straightness of walls. It is fascinating that the excavation in Pompeii was done to control water flow between different parts, uncovering an intriguing detail. The construction area covered the whole block. What makes this find so captivating is not the tools, but the hot mixing technique they suggest. 
Picture yourself blending concrete. Typically, we take dry cement powder and combine it with water to form a paste that solidifies over time. This process resembles the traditional method employed by the Romans to create concrete, except they utilized a substance known as quicklime instead of cement. Quicklime requires an extended period of soaking in water before it becomes usable, much like allowing tea leaves to steep before enjoying a cup of tea. Slaking is the term used for this process, which doesn't produce a lot of heat. Yet, there are indications that the builders in Pompeii used a method known as hot mixing. Rather than combining the quicklime with water beforehand, or slaking it, the Romans probably left it dry. They would then mix this dry quicklime with volcanic ash, a material easily found in their area. Just before utilizing the blend, water was included. This caused a reaction between the quicklime and water generating heat. The outcome? A mortar that dried at a significantly quicker rate compared to the typical method. This technique of hot mixing resulted in a much speedier drying process because of the heat produced by the reaction. Pompeii's residents would have greatly benefited from this groundbreaking advancement, as it played a vital role in minimizing construction timelines. Considering the city's previous encounter with a devastating earthquake, which we discussed in a previous video, the ability to swiftly reconstruct damaged buildings was of utmost importance. Before, historians thought that the Romans pre-mixed quicklime with water. But according to Regio 9, new evidence shows that workers actually mixed the lime with water on site, producing a very hot mixture. The benefits of hot mixing go beyond just being fast. The mortar that resulted was probably more long-lasting compared to traditionally slaked lime. Studying the construction techniques of ancient Roman buildings such as the Colosseum and Pantheon could help us create stronger, more sustainable materials for modern structures. This emphasis on durability aligns with today's focus on environmental sustainability. The excavations currently taking place in Regio 9 mark the start of an exciting journey. Italy's Ministry of Culture highlights that Pompeii is a true treasure trove waiting to be uncovered. With more funding and a new museum in the works, the unveiling of these discoveries is set to speed up. The construction site in Regio 9 stands as a testament to the Roman Empire's ingenuity and effectiveness. Park director Gabriel highlights the significance of incorporating hot mixing and recycled materials such as pozzolanic ash in modern construction practices. By studying these techniques, we can gain valuable insights and pave the way for faster and more sustainable building methods. It's important to remember that Pompeii's story is still unfolding, holding many more chapters to be discovered. Each dig reveals more about the creativity and expertise of the ancient inhabitants. This well-preserved site, untouched for nearly 2,000 years, provides a window into the past. It stands as proof of the lasting impact of Roman engineering. With ongoing careful excavation, we anticipate uncovering further treasures that will illuminate the history of this lively ancient metropolis. Thanks for being a part of our journey through Pompeii's history. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting trips back in time.